hope you have a good day guys i am just gonna be doing my makeup with you guys i want to do a quick video i have a couple of my friends customers who have received their makeup over the weekend and i told them that i was gonna make a video for them just to walk them through the steps and get them through the first application basically so i'm gonna do that <clears throat> i'm gonna be using my compact which is basically what they've gotten i usually recommend at least starting with the basic so my contour my brightening color my main color for my face and then a lip and cheek which i'm going to be using pink grapefruit today so <clears throat> let me just begin i'm going to start off with some sp stay spray which i love because it smells so yummy just patting that into my face first um i am about to start working myself but i do have orientation right right as soon as i get out of work i literally have to get up and go to my daughter's high school orientation on campus so let me just get this done so i don't even have to think about this later all right so i just put some stay spray whatever you guys like to use on your face first if you don't like anything don't put anything but i like to put a little stay spray sometimes a little primer depending on what i'm doing um it's been super humid lately so i've kind of done it i'm sure when the colder less humidity months come i probably won't all right so that's that so i'm gonna go in with my contour and this is exactly what you guys would do on your application i'm gonna do exactly what uh, i would be telling you to do so follow along i'm using my contour which is the darkest color i'm putting that over like near my hairline and kind of come down close to your hairline because you want that shadow to be back not towards your face okay and i know the color is so dark but it does blend in so no worries here you guys how was your weekend i had a good weekend i really always have a good weekend i don't know if you've noticed already but my husband is very into just being outside and outdoors and i love it thank god because i'm not that kind of relaxed weekend on the weekends kind of girl i'm more like all right i've been working all week sitting on my computer let's get up and go so thank goodness we match on that all right so i'm putting my contour as you can see right here kind of not don't bring it too low because you want to keep that area you know you don't want a shadow coming downwards it looks like a beard so make sure you kind of come up high on your cheekbone find that hollow of your cheek and then just dig in and then stop there like don't come in too too close either you see like maybe this is a good mark kind of like at the corner of your eye and down it shouldn't go past that and then the same thing kind of find that hollow and then dig in And then um, a couple of times, once you use this, I know that the first time it's 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 not easy to go this dark with your contour. You kind of do it just lightly. So you say you used it, but really you can do it this dark or darker. I, I definitely do it darker usually, but um, there's nothing really happening today. I'm about to start working, so. Okay, and then just outline your jawline. Don't come up too far onto your face. This should be like under. And then your chin, like that. Okay, and then your nose. I'm taking um, whatever brush you have. So um, whatever brush you have, but if you don't have this detailed hack brush, I'm gonna use my finger for this so you can see that it can also be done with any brush or, or your finger. <clears throat> Just digging in like that. And remember, so when you contour your nose, you don't wanna make the lines wide because then that's just gonna make your nose look wide. So you kind of come in, um, you know make the lines more narrow than what your nose is like you don't actually have to follow the actual outline of your nose you can make it whatever you want okay so you see the opening in between my nose it became it's very shallow i mean very narrow i'm thinking of water <laughs> okay and then i just kind of come up like that so that's what it should look like so 
Remember, if you have like a crooked nose or anything there, make sure the lines are super straight. Like don't follow the curvature of your nose if that's what's bothering you. Make sure that the lines are super straight. And even if you have to use almost like a, <clears throat> I mean, really like even if you have to use something like to kind of make the line straight, you kind of put it there and then with the brush, bring it down so that you know you're doing a straight line instead of following the, con the curvature of your nose. <clears throat> okay, so then that's what everything looks like for right now. And then I kind of, dab some right here just to give my lip a little bit of a shadowing also I'm walking this go I'm going through this one really kind of slow I just want to have this be like my updated um my updated tutorial for all my the girls that are just getting their stuff now I can send them this video so you see how it kind of outlines on my lips? And it has to be very subtle, so nothing crazy here. But it kind of gives you that shadowing effect around your lip. And it kind of just makes your lip looks a little bit more plump. <clears throat> I haven't started getting any kind of injection yet, which I'm completely open to, just not ready for yet. But I will be soon enough. Okay, so this is what my my tricks are for now until I start getting something done. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go in with my next color in my palette, which is my brightening color. We all have different colors. So your palette is going to be have the four colors like this, but they're going to be different shades because you guys are different shades than I am. Or some people are exactly my shade, but for the most part, you might have your palette looks like this with different colors. So you might be lighter, darker. So I'm going in with that bright brightener color. And then adding that in right over, right under my eyes. And then sometimes I come down and I kind of come down and I cover the nostril part. You're gonna start seeing how like this actually starts making my nose look smaller. And then I just kind of go like that. Kind of like a little triangle like this, see? And then the same thing here. Come down to the nostril part. And then come back up. Um, so basically this is really, I'm only gonna use the four colors in the palette. I'm not gonna use anything more. So look at my nose already. I haven't blended or anything. And you can already see that kind of like my nose is thinning out even more which not everybody wants. It's not like this is something that you have to do. So if you're not into the thinning of the nose, no problem, you skip that step. It doesn't have to be done with this. You would just do your makeup faster. And then the other where area that you need to put that brightener color is right between there. This is gonna be, look, look at the nose. <clears throat> Look at that. I just want you to look so that you can see that it does make a difference. So if you want to do something to your nose, then this is the step you guys have to make. If you don't, and you don't want to, don't do it. Just brightening there. So almost like if you kind of brighten in, in that triangle shape. <clears throat> so that's brightening step, right? The next step would be my darker color, which is gonna match my face. This is called your main highlight. My God, I hear the wind so bad outside. Oh, my window's closed. Oh my God, it sounds really bad. <clears throat> okay, so then you take your main color, which mine is Goddess. I'm using Goddess. And I'm applying that everywhere else. And again, a little goes a long way. You don't have to like pile this on. I'm like dabbing it in the color and, uh, and applying it on my face. I'm not even like really swiping. Dab and apply where you have not applied your colors yet. So we're trying to avoid that a lot of layers on your face, like traditional makeup makes you do. Because first with traditional makeup, you have to put like a whole base first, like one, one color only as a foundation. And then you start layering on the colors to give you dimension. So this is avoiding that. 
we're putting all this color all these colors so far is your foundation so this is it's done in one step you're not doing multiple steps right <clears throat> all of this is my foundation but in traditional world this would all be one color and then you do the contouring and the brightening and all that so we don't we're not doing that anymore that's old school we've moved on into modern times makeup needs to move with times too all right you guys so i put the, my main color everywhere that i did not have my brightening color or my contour so this is what you're supposed to look like you could do your blush now you can do your blush later so i'm gonna do the blush after just so you can just see the colors itself blending in <clears throat> so i do not have the 30 second half brush um i don't have it it's in my my daughter's house so i'm just gonna go ahead if you with Obviously, if you have the 30 second hack brush, you use the more fluffier side and then blend in. So you're going to see little by little. I'm just going to start with my forehead kind of with a lighter color. And then I'm stippling in a lot. I like to stipple and blend and swirl. I do my eyes also. I'm leaving my nose for last just because that one I, I tend to be more careful with because I don't want to undo what I've already done. And then here I'm like, I kind of go a little bit harsher. There, all my main colors are mixing in. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the darker color. So start taking that contour. I'm blending it in little by little I go into my hairline oh my gosh I don't even know can you hear the wind it sounds really weird it's... okay I have a whole bunch of little mosquito bites but they're getting better all right so come down and then the contour on your cheek you blend up and away you want to keep that contour there but you don't want to have it like too harsh The same thing on your other side. I know this, I am, I wanted to stick to the, you know, less than 15 minutes. So that's what I'm aiming for here because I'm talking and kind of trying to take my time. But if I was doing this on my own, I would be done. So the, the more you put it on, the better you're going to get, I promise. Okay, so with my nose, I kind of just like to dab it. I don't want to remove everything that I did. Just dab it enough so that you don't see any any of the major lines that you just made. Okay, and then like that. And then you see you guys how that just came together. And then for the blush, I'm going in with pink grapefruit, just using the same brush. Um, I, I don't smile anymore i just go to where i see like my cheek i just like to start a little bit further back to bring my face up like i don't want anything sagging down even color so up 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 up, up, up towards the back up 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 up, up. And you can put as little or as much as you guys want. I'm just turning this around and wiping that away a little bit. That was that. And then for the lipstick, I'm just going to line my lip very quickly here and here. This is using my contour color. Like that and the same color there you go and I use a contour color to make it more of a mauve if it's too pink for you dab it in your contour like that and if you wanted it less pink, add more contour to your lips. 
that is it you guys thank you